Let us talk. I think I saw you in the back. You were wearing the V for Vendetta mask. Those who have come to trust you as leaders has been made clear to us. Anonymous has therefore decided that your organization should be destroyed. For the good of your followers, for the good of mankind and for our own enjoyment, we shall proceed to expel you from the internet and systematically dismantle the Church of Scientology in its present form. We recognize you as serious opponents, and do not expect our campaign to be completed in a short time frame. However, you will not prevail forever against the angry masses of the body politic. Your choice of methods, your hypocrisy and the general artlessness of your organization have sounded its death knell. You have nowhere to hide, because we are everywhere. You will find no recourse in attack, because for each of us that falls, ten more will take this place. We are cognizant of the many who may decry our methods as parallel to those of the Church of Scientology. Those who espouse the obvious truth that your organization will use the actions of Anonymous as an example of the persecution of which you have for so long warned your followers. This is acceptable to Anonymous. In fact, it is encouraged. We are your SPs. Over time, as we begin to merge our pulse with that of your church, the suppression of your followers will become increasingly difficult to maintain. Believers will become aware that salvation needn't come at the expense of their livelihood. They will become aware that the stress and the frustration that they feel is not due to us, but a source much closer to them. Yes, we are SPs but the sum of suppression we could ever muster is eclipsed by that of your own RTC. Knowledge is free. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. Good afternoon, New York City. I trust you all have enjoyed the conference thus far. We are anonymous. Uh, we are legion. Well, sh shout louder, motherfucker. Where are you? <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> all right. So uh, first of all, uh, can we get uh, a little bit of lights here on the audience? We wanna, I want to I gauge what y'all know about shit. Uh, first of all, who here knows what bitches know about Anonymous? Anonymous is the cancer that is killing me. <laughs> yes. so uh, popular. All right, so here, uh, maybe even digging deeper, uh, who, here knows, who here knows what the fuck B is? I mean, just even, oh, wow, OK. Oh, hey, that means half this room are retards? Nice. Or they're, uh... Cool. <laughs> Little new fags. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, then, uh... Great. Uh, so, basically, uh, in late January, a group of internet users, a bunch of B-tards on a couple image boards, decided they were going to fuck around with a cult, and, uh, that cult was called Scientology, and that not group was called Anonymous. Uh, can you tell we prepared a lot for this? This is a <laughs> yeah. We're waiting for uh, the asshole who was actually supposed to start. He's running up the stairs or something right now. But okay, but anyway, um, yeah, we're anonymous. Uh, I'll, I'll introduce ourselves first. I'm Dominio. I run EpicAnon.com. I don't know if any of you guys have heard of it. Uh, EpicAnon is the uh, the website that basically uh, manages you know uh, the whole New York region. And, um, you know, I, I run that. Uh, this here is Atkins. He is, uh, he, he's a loud asshole at most of our protests. Uh, this here is Kamara. He's one of the guys to protest with us. He just decided to be here today. I don't think anybody even invited him. He just showed up. Yeah, he just kind of showed up and was like, hey, can I sit on the panel? And we said yes. I'm just plus one to the Zerg rush here, so don't mind me. Yeah, pretty much. He actually, he actually came here in that coffin and just burst out screaming. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> This kid here in the mask is Pokeanon. Um, he actually has some, uh, he has some relatives that are kind of involved in Scientology. So uh, he's going to talk about that today. And the, uh, the hot redhead here with the big breasts is little sister, um, <laughs> AKA New York nurse. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have seen her uh, Encyclopedia Dramatica. Yeah, just bring that up to it on um, <laughs> Can we load that up? Yeah, we'll show you guys that later. No. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and the uh, the kid sitting here in the front row filming us with a really shitty camera. Um, <laughs> that's uh, that's Anon Nation. Uh, that's the same camera that actually got the. Uh, if any of you guys have been on YouTube and seen the John Carmichael. I smell puffy. Yeah, video. 
uh, he's the one responsible for that. So um, I guess I'm going to pass the mic over a little sister. Shit, what? I don't know how to work that damn thing. It's a mic. You talk into it. <laughs> Hi, hello, Dar. I am little sister. I have no idea what I was to be talking about up here. You say I didn't plan anything either. Hmm. Well, no, this uh, asshole here in the back, <laughs> who just screamed high, he's the one that's supposed to be up here talking. Oh, here we go. Faster. Faster. Not fast enough. Save us, motherfucker. Please. Suck less? That doesn't even make sense. Good job, kid. No, that was suck less. Suck less. Good job. <laughs> Sit down. GG. Hi, guys. I'm sure they did a good job of delaying until I ran up the stairs. <laughs> no. Not really. No. <laughs> We're dying up here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was told that it would be cool if I just said fucking dick and shit for mad long. So that's all I got here. That's just, oh, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> the first thing on the piece of paper I have in front of me is uh, that my pen broke. Uh, when I was writing it, it was curvy. I went to straighten it. It fucking snapped in half. Uh, my name is Seth Dude. <laughs> Seth Dude. Mike Vitale is my real name. Uh, I'm a company owner. Um, I'm 23. I can tell you guys that because uh, Scientology decided to tell my name to a lot of people one day. I'm going to tell you exactly how that happened, all right? Okay, let's start from the beginning. A lot of Anons will not go into detail about this sort of stuff. Uh, a few months ago, as a matter of fact, I remember I could have gotten like yelled at and kicked out of the raid for saying half this stuff that I'm about to say. Um, well, see, the thing is, if a lot of people disagree with what you're doing, they'll still pretty much make sure that you can't show up. Or at least if you do show up, you're going to have a terrible time. You know? Um, that's one of the ways... Are supposed to have a good time when you're protesting? We do, and I'm actually going to tell you about why we do and how we do. Don't feed him. <laughs> Don't feed him. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. He's going to love it. Um, well... In the beginning, uh, in the beginning of January, I could say that uh, some message boards and there's some other sites that you guys know about is connected to Anonymous. Uh, one of them is B, the other is Ebaum's World. Some of them are, uh, you know, fucking Gaia. the other Chans. Gaia, Gaia sure. <laughs> so you could already see the other Anon squirming as soon as I start talking about the real shit, you know? Um, they were all going to invade each other. Uh, some cheesy internet thing. And, uh, you know, it was just going to be they were going to like run in and fucking mess up each other's boards, go on to maybe Encyclopedia Dramatica, change entries about people, do something stupid. But the thing is that it just so happened to all be happening at the same time, you know? One of those things where one was going to bother another and another was going to go bother another. And it was supposed to be really cheesy and stupid and I really wasn't going to get involved at all. But it just so happened that around that same time is when uh, the Tom Cruise video came out. A lot of you are familiar with that. Uh, there was a leaked video with Tom Cruise acting like a complete retard uh, <laughs> and basically making Scientology look like a bunch of fucking psychos. And uh, so that came out on YouTube and then it got taken down because the church likes to have copyright infringement crap and, you know, sue people and, you know, they basically bullied YouTube out of taking it down. They've been doing stuff like this on the internet for a while. It pissed a lot of people off and it just so happened to happen at a really, really unfortunate time because everybody was gearing up to do some ridiculous shit to each other. Um, so what happened was, everybody decides to go and start to bug the shit out of Scientology now. Uh, every Chan board, every message board that really had the same kind of jerks who know all the internet, uh, you know, slang the internet things, everybody knew about it. You know, everybody was like, okay, let's all go and, you know, they don't have a message board, what the fuck are we gonna do? You know? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you know, a few people who were uh, better in scripting and stuff like that, they came up with, you know, some scripts that we could use to bug their site a little bit. Your fucking phone's ringing, dude. Why is it over here? That's not my phone. Well, someone's fucking phone is ringing, and it's not mine. Not me. All right, sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to throw it into the crowd. <laughs> Answer, I'm fucking answering it. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Dick here. Yeah, that's it, sorry. <laughs> All right, where was I? Right, so we're trying to figure out what the fuck to do, right? 
uh, these scripts come out that are something that's able to kind of like, not really illegally, but really like annoyingly overload their sites. They get passed out to everybody. Half the people have no idea how the fuck to use them. Those people who have no idea how the fuck to use them usually would, you know, they would prank call Scientology and fucking piss them off and do all sorts of stupid shit. They got pizzas ordered to them. A bunch of like real juvenile, but incredibly fucking funny stuff because it all got fucking recorded and put on YouTube and made everyone laugh and be happy. <laughs> Except for Scientology and they continue to frown forever. <laughs> They're calling again. Damn, why don't you fucking take this? <laughs> so, anyway, um, we used oh, an interesting system of collaborating this. Basically, if one jerk had an idea, he would kind of yell it out on one random message board. Then everybody would step on him and kill him. But every once in a while, it was good. Hold on. Yes. Uh, talk to who? Okay. I'm talking to a chairman. I don't know who Dex Spink is. Here, you talk to him. I don't know what to say, man. Well, fucking make something up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would love to know who the fuck's phone that is and why She's I keep answering it, and now I'm you know, not talking about Scientology to do that. Anyway, so, um, <laughs> for the fucking millionth time, <laughs> we, uh, we bugged them. And uh, I remember just around this time, we started collaborating a lot on the IRC. We started collaborating around a lot on, me on the message boards. And like I was about to say before the fucking phone rang for the 50th time, that uh, you know, we used to use this method of somebody would have a good idea you know, or somebody would have a bad idea. They would either get praised for it or not because if it was on a message board, you had no idea who the fuck said it. And uh, we would you know, kind of run with it. And uh, that was a lot of how this whole thing started, you know, a lot of how the dates got named. Someone just named a fucking random date, you know, the, how the times got made. Someone made a random fucking time, you know? And uh, it was on January 18th where we first decided to be like, all right, this is going to be, this is our wave of, you know, psychoticness. You know, we fucking called them all day. You couldn't get through the Dianetics hotline at all, a fucking 800 number. You could not get through. It was completely fucking busy, <laughs> right? <laughs> there was black faxes going out to them, like, you know, just pretty much all black pieces of paper, right? <laughs> we, we, yeah, we would send it. I, I remember this. There was this one person I knew who would take the paper and would circle it, right? They would, like, you know, they would put the black, the, the black piece of construction paper through and tape it to the end. Like to the front end, so we just keep fucking sending the facts over and over and over again, right? <laughs> or some of them, you know. Huh? Oh, it's, it's totally delicious. <laughs> it's totally just as juvenile, but you know, funny and juvenile sometimes go hand in hand. So, in any case, uh, they got they got they got kind of bombarded with that for a little while. Um, I remember the 18th, you couldn't get onto any of their sites because they were overloaded. Um, yeah, we had people on uh, IRC DDoSing their uh, their websites, which is also pretty juvenile. Probably more juvenile just because you know you can consider them script kitties and whatnot. But um, yeah, one of the main purposes of the uh, of the IRC network that we had going was stop poking asshole. Um, one of the main purposes that, uh, of the IRC network originally was actually to DDoS all their websites, and um, they actually had a few websites. They had the Dianetics website, they had their little recruiting website, and then they also had their main website, and I think we had their website down for like a record of almost two weeks. Um, <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, there was... There was the most, I think it was down in a row, was probably like three days at a time. But the thing, it would, it would pop up, and as soon as it would pop up, everybody would kind of scream, get it down. Um, but I think, well, okay. Well, what happened was on the 18th, everything was down, right? Uh, the lines were completely clogged. The fact is they shut them off for about two weeks. Uh, <laughs> then, uh, you know, everything was kind of dying down. I remember right around, uh, you know, 19th, 20th, you know, everyone's kind of petering out. You see participation decreasing and stuff like that. And uh, it was, a decision was made, I guess, uh, to have a second wave. Um, I actually wrote that copy pasta for second wave, and uh, you know I, I had sent it out. And I pretty much I wanted to focus more on uh, on some press involvement too, so I kind of threw a lot of that in there. And uh, I mean nobody really at the, at the uh, time had any idea, of, you know, who I was or what the fuck I was doing. But um, basically, if, like I said before, if you write something up, you know, you put it on the board. Where you put it, where everybody's gonna see it. If it's a good fucking idea, you know, it's gonna get, uh, it's gonna get adopted into it. So uh, that's kind of what happened. Um, 
there was another wave after that, of course, and another and another, and it just kept going on. And uh, what, something interesting happened at that time, I think, on the IRCs. The uh, people started to know each other because, uh, you know, when stuff when it starts to go around for you know for a long enough time, and people are using aliases, they'll stick to one alias eventually. So, so you know, you did have some people getting favored. You know, some ideas getting favored from some people, some ideas getting not favored from other people. You know. And I guess that's kind of how I got to be a part of uh, what eventually would be a channel. Uh, one, of the, one of the channels where all the kind of oppers and people who got, were a little bit more respected got into. Um, and that was the major centralization in the beginning of Anonymous. Uh, then actually on my birthday, on January 27th, um, Mark Bunker put out his, his video to, uh, to pretty much tell us that this is not the way to beat Scientology. You guys got to calm the fuck down. <laughs> you guys got to stop doing stuff that could you know, potentially be considered illegal, you know, and you guys got to handle it that way. Um, a lot of people thought that uh, Mark Bunker was just going to become a target and everyone was going to, uh, you know, go and maybe bomb his site and, you know, do whatever, but everybody kind of embraced Mark Bunker, um, and he actually was what led to the IRC exodus, uh, as I like to call it, um, the oppers on, uh, on the IRC network that we were all using, one of which, in a minute of which is sitting right there, um, they actually kicked off everybody, everybody. All of the Anons who were using the, that server at the time were gone. And uh, this was a couple of thousand people, and now we're thinking, well, how the fuck are we going to collaborate? How are we going to coordinate? This is really bad. Luckily, it only lasted three hours, because <laughs> while we were gone, during that exodus, we all pretty much decided that, hey, we have to relax with the illegal shit because one, we can't do it anymore, and uh, two, you know, Mark Bunker had a lot of points. Everybody agreed with it. You know, that was one of the ways that February 10th got planned. Uh, that the uh, February 10th was when we decided to move it into real life, when we decided to, you know, stop being fat internet kids. And uh, I was, I was, well, I was fat, but then after the 10th, I got really skinny. Um, <laughs> And uh, to stop being fat internet kittens, kind of, kind of, you know, run into real life, go see the Oregon person, uh, you know, tell them what we think, fucking hand out flyers, say weird shit to them, right? And I'll, I'll always remember the, uh, the morning of the 10th because I'm wondering what these other people are going to be like. These people who, for so long, if I said even the slightest thing that they disapproved with, would jump right the fuck down my throat and uh, be incredibly, incredibly mean. <laughs> and... Uh, you know, when I met up with them, first of all, the turnout was fucking huge. Nobody thought it was going to be. It was in just in New York City alone, it was around 300-something people. You know, we had planned February 10th in every fucking major city worldwide. You know, uh, so just to be just in New York, we're getting fucking over 300 people. I'm just standing around like, wow, this is, this is fucking massive. I had no idea, you know. And uh, so I get there, and the people are just fucking cool. They were funny as fuck. Nobody could get a single phrase out without some other asshole saying something completely ridiculous. Like, everything was just a complete joke. And I'm like, wow. Everybody is, like, everyone was the bad kid in class. You know? <laughs> like, this, if this is class, everyone's just the bad kid in class. There's no fucking teacher and we're just going crazy. You know? Um, there was the code of ethics everybody knew. You know, fucking relax. Don't fucking step out into the street if the cops say not to. Don't punch anybody in the fucking face. Other than that, you know, I, we were chanting dick hair sometimes, <laughs> like, you know, whatever. Uh, I started the dick hair one, but fucking, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just thought it was fucking great. Uh, and luckily, right before the 10th, uh, we already had the Ides of March already planned, uh, which was the 15th. You know, I, I actually seem to be a firm believer in, hey, if you're going to go and, uh, and jump into something and make it be like the first thing, you should always have that backup thing there. So that, you know, if it does become a success, you could pretty much be like, hey, all right, let's do this again then. You know, then you'll have the same turnout. Um, so we did. And I guess the whole point of this was for me to tell you how and why uh, Scientology got my name and such. Well, during those first two raids, those first two protests, uh, they could see that I was, uh, you know, acting as a liaison with the NYCLU. You know, I was kind of running around in the front trying to, you know, help organize stuff and whatever. And, and they obviously saw that. My very flimsy Groucho Marx disguise didn't do a fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm almost done, so blah, blah, blah. Fucking, <laughs> and, uh, and that's actually how they got me. They probably followed me home or some ridiculous fucking thing like that, and, and uh, that's pretty much it. So now they know my name. They sent me all sorts of fucking letters and stuff like that, and uh, 
I'm definitely not going to go anywhere because this shit is way too fucking funny to me. But uh, we're going to be pretty much keeping the pressure on. We get a lot of fucking press. They look more and more fucking ridiculous all the time. And we just beat them up by being fucking funny, insane, weird shit. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. So yeah, Pokey, you wanna you wanna pick it up uh, with your uh, explanation, man? Pokey and on, ladies and gentlemen. Pokey and on. What's up? Yes, yes. It's it's appropriate to clap. Someone take pictures. He has his mask off. Oh no, they'll find me again. <laughs> I poked. <laughs> hey. Oh hey, it's Pokey. <laughs> yeah, they can't find where I live twice, so uh, I don't give a damn. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm not really going to talk about family involvement in Scientology. I can talk a little bit about that if you want after the panel, but uh, like in a question and answer session, uh, talk a little bit about the bad shit they do, how they really truly ruin lives and you know all that unfun stuff, but right now we're going to keep it on the fun side. So uh, I'm going to start off by saying some things that I have written down and reading them with my eyes. So. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, you know, I think we fit in here nice today because, uh, you know, Fox News said that we're a bunch of hackers on steroids. That was 2007. Uh, they also called us the Internet Hate Machine. That's a nice one. And uh, they, they recommend strongly that if you buy curtains and a dog, you can really protect yourself against hackers. That's a good one. Uh, I, I think that we should all do this. And we're also known for exploding yellow vans, according to them, too. Yeah. Well, this was a Rupert Murdoch network, so you know it was true. <laughs> uh, for the most part, I'm not that tech savvy. Um, certainly not in this crowd. I'm sure all of you totally surpass me in every way, but, you know, uh, I guess I'm just humble. <laughs> um, I'm not really part of the internet hate machine. I only joined up with Anonymous as Chinology started, so call me Anonymous, call me Chinologist. If you're into that semantics, go have, a, go have fun by yourself. Uh, I'm going to be with these guys. Um, I really didn't know what Anonymous was until, uh, until I saw the first uh, message to Scientology video that we played just uh, before. Uh, I heard about them once in passing over the years, but um, I wasn't a huge internet user. Um, just sort of a, I don't know, normal kid growing up. And, uh, you know, I got my AOL CDs and uh, then drink coasters uh, over the years in like the early 90s. But uh, for the most part, you know, I had heard about Anonymous once when they sort of made the news, not even the Fox News report, when, the, when Anonymous way back when decided to catch some pedophile because they thought it would be funny. And uh, as it turns out, it was, and it was also awesome. So, you know, yay them. Um, <laughs> right? <laughs> You're a dick. You're making us sound like crime fighters here. Come on. All right, Batman, calm down. Um, there you go. <laughs> Uh, so, to be fair, uh, he looks more like Robin with the goggles, so... Oh, screw you, man. Mm. Screw you. Put your aviator lenses in. <laughs> what are you, 70? <laughs> and your hat. Come on. Yeah, okay, shut up, Vin Diesel. All right, All right cool. <laughs> so, uh, really, we're a bunch of communist, Nazi, cyber terrorist aliens from the Markabian Empire being paid by the psychiatric industry to protest in order to push the homosexual agenda and make sure that alien ghosts remain imprisoned here on Earth. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, all of those things are things that the Church of Scientology has said about us. I couldn't write this because I don't think that uh, unless I was wasted several times over, I could come up with something that dumb. Uh, these are things that the members believe because these people have been totally stripped of their rationale. Uh, no, thanks, maybe later. Um, but uh, th these people... I mean, truly have no sense of critical reasoning. It's something that's taken away from them at some point. And it's, it's really sad because it pervades into other areas of life, including medicine, which, you know, uh, has killed people in the past because they refuse psychiatric care. And uh, maybe get into that a little bit later, but, you know, here in New York City, Jennifer McDonald Cox, the nice woman who uh, came out from the Scientology church, which they call orgs, uh, probably going to talk a lot of jargon here because Scientology is all jargon. That's part of, uh, part of much of cult mentality to begin with. So when you're inside, 
Uh, you know what they're talking about. You feel like you're part of the club. Everybody has the same words. And as an outsider, you don't know. So uh, I apologize for all of us if we start talking in, in gibberish. Um, but uh, Jennifer McDonald Cox, this woman with a mouth like a sarlacc pit, comes out, uh, comes out and yells at Mike here. And uh, she was implemental in uh, Buffalo covering up uh, Jeremy Perkins, who uh, un very unfortunately is paranoid schizophrenic, who his mother, L. Perkins, uh, was a Scientologist. And as becoming a Scientologist, um, she was denied psychiatric care. And because she was told that the psychiatrists are evil aliens from the Markavian Empire, as we are, of course, um, was told take the son off the medication. And he ended up stabbing her 72 times. And Jennifer McDonald Cox was implemental, uh, was a big part of covering that up. These people are criminals. There's no other way around it. Um, but back to some fun stuff. <laughs> you know, because I said I was going to do that, and but uh, you know these people, these people are criminals. So I get, I get a little pissed off because I think that's the right thing to do, because, you know, if nobody gets pissed off at criminals, they're just going to keep on keeping on because this stuff doesn't get coverage, because these people are are there exactly for that purpose to cover this stuff, cover it up, cover up their tracks. Um, Really, I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, if you see us today and you want to get involved with us because, uh, as you can tell, we're pretty much, uh, you know, pretty much a bunch of loopy jerks. Yeah. Um, I mean, that, that's a great description of us because we, we're uh, kind of mean to each other. We're heckling each other and shit. Flip it right? out. What? Flip it out. No. <laughs> no, you. Uh, like they'll be able to see it. He's got the podium there. And, uh, you know, if you want to join up with us, just don't take anything seriously, honestly. Uh, you can do it for whatever reason you want. You can do it because you're pissed. It's a good reason. You can do it because Scientology is a criminal organization with a tax exempt status and you're paying for them. You can do it because they've covered up murders. You can do it because they abuse children consistently. Whatever, you can do it because it's a lot of fun. Some people just like to come out with us and party. We're do what? What do you guys actually do? We do worldwide protests monthly. We do weekly protests. Physical or digital? Keep talking. Physical. Physical. What do you think we're doing here? Physical we're bringing this protest. to the real world. Come on. Have you actually made any sort of effect on the org other than just pulling their eyes? We've, and going, what are these reasons? we've made some pretty serious effects, in, especially in, in terms of press Negative coverage. Negative press coverage of the uh, Scientology organization. Uh, there has been a few people in New York who have previously been Scientologists who were uh, too afraid to speak out against the Church of Scientology because they know of the church's blackmailing policies against the Church of Scientology members because when you uh, undergo counseling in the Church of Scientology, they write down everything. And this is for something they call PC file. And uh, this is something that they'll use against you if you leave. And because of our presence, there have been a few members who are ex-Scientologists who have found a voice again and are willing to speak up. This is New York City locally. Have you got anybody else? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've just I, I personally had somebody blow, which is what they call leaving, from talking to me, yes? Yeah, I mean, we, have, uh, we actually have a couple of people that, uh, one of them, uh, ex-flu for now, he actually uh, ended up leaving not too long ago. And he comes out and protests with us all the time. I mean, if you, if you look around in one of our protests, he makes himself very, very obvious. He runs around with, a, with an iPod and speakers uh, strapped to his belt, uh, which uh, the iPod's blurting out the, uh, what they call the OT3, um, which apparently, if, uh, if you hear it and you're not actually up to that level yet, you'll die of uh, ammonia, ammonia or something like that, um, according to Scientology. <laughs> Basically, uh, you know, uh, speaking of which, I mean, because uh, 75 billion years ago, uh, the evil galactic overlord Xenu, in order to combat overpopulation on his home planet, decided to round up all the aliens, aliens, put them into spaceships that looked a lot like, hey, hey, hey hold on, don't interrupt me, you get the soap, you get the soap, you get the soap. <laughs> yeah, we've also, we've, we've made sure that uh, a lot of people actually love the church, their population is down a fucking lot, worldwide and locally. 
uh, we've made a lot of people, well, more than, uh, more than I guess usual, not join. Uh, they've been, they would try and talk to people when we were around, just would not fucking happen. Uh, their, their membership is down, their money is down. We've pretty much hurt them in almost every fucking way. So, so. how much membership do you think you've cost them so far? Um, according to my precise calculations that I've done by interviewing every single Scientologist that's in the org that I'm completely making up right now. Uh, <laughs> actually, uh, we get varied reports. Uh, I mean, I've, I've heard that they were down fucking 40%. I don't believe it. Uh, I'm th I think it's way more around uh, 10 to 20, and their membership is almost slow to a halt as far as uh, new signups. In terms of how many members reported worldwide do they have? They, in actuality, uh, have what, uh, somewhere in the well, like hundred thousand. No, or something? Do they say a oh, fucking over hundred thousand? But I think it's no, way they say to over eight million. Well, but right, they're right. a bunch of lying. And then the other they so. say uh, something else, and the other they say something else. But we think it's anywhere between fifty and hundred thousand. Yeah. Um, they say eight million because anybody who's ever taken one of those stress tests, the little carts on the street, ever bought a book, maybe even ever walked into the org, they consider you a Scientologist, which yeah. is why they can claim such ridiculous numbers. If you've ever taken a stress test on the street, you're a Scientologist yeah, in the Apparently, eyes. I'm a Scientologist. Uh, I took a stress test out here yesterday. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, this is actually one it? of their. Uh, this is one of their little camping spots that they do. Their little stress test tables. Um, apparently, what they consider you when they consider you a, uh, a member, even if you're not actually considering yourself a Scientologist, um, they count into your numbers. If, they count into their numbers if you uh, ever pretty much gave your name and address and all that other stuff to them. You know, to get a book or uh, to find out more about it. Uh, I mean, for example, I've gone into York and uh, I've questioned them about uh, a lot of their policies and uh, you know, uh, actually, I think it was no, you didn't go into me. Nice. Um, you know, I've gone in there and I've uh, I've questioned their policies. I've gotten information uh, about you know a lot of their stuff just to see exactly you know what they're doing in there. And uh, now, uh, unfortunately, I uh, I go home every every month and I get a ton of mail with uh, Hey, I want you to sign up for this course or I want you to uh, buy this book. So you know, hold on. Um, they're considering all those they're considering all those people that go in there and you know ask ask about their books or ask about their uh, their little cult there. They're considering them members, and that's what they're counting into their numbers that they go and post on their website. We have a, an apparent question, I guess. Uh, pretty much. A, there we go. Um, <laughs> yeah. So um, I just want to say, you guys are making a big impact. Uh, I'm, I'm from Miami, Florida. Uh, we run a website called FederalJack.com. We have a YouTube page, so you know I've been covering you know what you guys have been doing, adding stuff to you know our YouTube page as a favorite, and people have been contacting me in like West Palm Beach. Uh, you know, in North Florida, which is, you know, where Scientology is based out of, and they're talking about family members being seriously involved in mind control, and they had to break, and it's not just Scientology, also, you know, different other cults, uh, a lot of them are like the age of Aquarius type folks, uh, the, the new age, uh, and I mean, it's mind control, awesome, they're robbing them blind, so, you know, it, this is branched off into like, oh, this makes money, fuck, I'm going to do it too. Um, and it, it's hurting people, it's destroying lives. Um, but I, I had a question about Sea Org. Uh, this is something when I was researching because of what, the, what you guys are doing. Uh, like, uh, they have a naval uh, force called Sea Org. Yeah. They actually well, have a naval ship with, with an army. How well, the fuck yes. is that legal? <laughs> they have, they consider it a naval ship. It's really just for decoration. Well, um, uh, it's a cruise ship full of blue asbestos. Yeah, it was recently <laughs> shut down because after something like 20 years after the fact, they investigated the ship, a uh, structural designer, architect, some sort of naval engineer, uh, came onto the boat, said, you gotta shut this down, it's full of blue asbestos. 20 years later, they actually had to go in and get a government check, and guess what they found? It was full of blue asbestos. So, uh, you know. It doesn't just go away. No, it doesn't. It's, it's they the worst kind of asbestos there is. Even just a single molecule, a small hook in your lungs is basically a guaranteed cancer 10 years down the line. They've threaten the lives of hundreds and thousands of their members, and they haven't told anybody about this. Because well, L. Ron Hubbard said that asbestos is not bad for you at all. He also said cigarettes are a great way to prevent lung cancer. <laughs> That's why so many Scientologists <laughs> smoke, by the way. Uh, if they're, they're telling you not to do anything because you have toxins in your body. That's something also nice. Uh, I'm going to use this as a quick tangent because uh, I've, I've really strayed far from what I was going to talk about, but uh, 
but in terms of toxins, something that uh, is a new one that I learned about only maybe about a month, maybe a month and a half ago, something that they love to do around disaster sites, including our very own 9-11 disaster site, is they will use their volunteer ministers, uh, which is a group that uh, you'll see them in yellow shirts. Um, right. <laughs> and uh, they're called volunteer ministers. They registered the volunteer ministers at the 9-11 disaster site in uh, New York as the National Mental Health Assistance, which um, in the heat of the moment sounded remarkably close to the National Mental Health Association, which is a real organization that's not Scientology. However, they registered the volunteer ministers as the National Mental Health Assistance and they intentionally blocked 9-11 rescue workers and victims from receiving free psychiatric care because they believe psychiatry is evil. They would literally take members of their church and tell them all this is very important and uh, something to keep in mind, Scientologists generally exceptionally good people who are horrendously misguided. Um, they're calling up the entire New York area membership, anybody probably who's ever come in, and saying, come on, this is a national crisis, get the hell down here, and these are good people, so they do. And they would literally pen off psychiatrists with their members so that uh, no rescue workers could get care because they believe it's evil. And in they the believe end, psychiatrists did the Holocaust. Yeah, in, in short, they believe psychiatry is responsible for the Holocaust. So that's, you know, their history is really um, <laughs> speech has been derailed. Yes, yeah, speech has been derailed. Um, and in the meantime, they told them to go to the Scientology Narconon centers uh, to get the purification rundown, which involves taking uh, a toxic dose of niacin for your liver. That's always something good if you have uh, detox problems. Toxic dose of niacin that'll cause flushing in the skin. They tell you that's radiation leaving your body. That's a nice lie they tell you as you're damaging your liver permanently. Um, and this is shit that they're doing to rescue workers and, uh, you know, just breaks my heart and makes me pissed and uh, I think it should <laughs> make you pissed too because this is ridiculous. This is not something that we want going on anywhere, let alone in our city. Um, I was going to talk about if, uh, if you wanted to come out with us sometime because uh, we're out often and we usually in New York because uh, because we have so much fun and we like each other so much, we go out just about every week, probably every Saturday, sometimes midweek, sometimes a few times a week. Uh, occasionally we'll miss a week, but uh, there's always a monthly Maybe. worldwide protest ev event. And uh, you know, if you, if you just come in there blind, you might be a little bit surprised. You might be a little bit shocked by sort of the demeanor, the language. Certainly if you're hearing us today uh, and you didn't understand the relationship, you might think that we all hated each other. Um, that's only the case sometimes, <laughs> especially after we just uh, shipped back up from Washington, D.C. because we were marching on the mall. And uh, we spent a lot of time with each other, so, you know, I don't like these guys so much at the moment. But <laughs> yeah, I don't like you either, sure. You weren't there, but I don't like you anyway. I still like Pokemon. <laughs> no, you don't. Uh, so. So yeah, if you, if you just heard us, you'd think that we're, uh, we're really crass and crude and confusing and... and you'd looping. be right. <laughs> and you would be 100% correct. You, we are. Uh, the difference is that there's absolutely no, no hateful intentions behind it. Uh, this is stuff that's done mostly for shock value. I think that this comes out of sort of the internet uh, lending itself to anonymity in, uh, in its forms, just in the, the sure, in, in that there are web forms, and it uh, looks like I'm running over, but uh, that's what happens when you jerks start uh, messing around with me. Wrap it up. Yeah, so uh, listen, <laughs> skipping ahead, uh, <laughs> skipping ahead to the end, you can try and understand us, Chances are you won't because I don't understand us. Um, we're a bunch of nice people or party people. You know, we come out, do our thing, have a good time, and in the process we get to damage a cult. So, uh, I don't know. What are you doing in your weekend? That's better than that. That's it for me. <laughs> I guess we'll just do...
Questions from the audience for the last seven minutes, maybe? Some, I mean, it's, it's all based on estimates, but we've, we've reached, I, I think you. we've... Uh, on average, usually 200 to 150. Yeah, in New York. That's in yeah. New York. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's just in New York. Uh, worldwide, uh, I believe February, it was probably in February, um, I believe it reached, between February and March, I believe we've had well over 8,000 worldwide. In fact, maybe over 9,000? Yeah, could be over 9,000. It, yeah, it's in that ballpark somewhere. It's at least 100. So it's, it's yeah. Okay. Uh, Next. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm wondering if you guys can help me out with sort of the Scientology trivia question I've had for a while. Mm, yeah. uh, back in about '99, it came out that Scientology was running net nannying, nannying software that they were recommending for all of their members, where they're like, you can't look at things Spice with this word or that right. word. Right. And one of the things, you know, it, was, it was reasonable things like they don't want you to see Xenu, which is the name of the ostensible deity. They yeah, don't want really you to see yeah. Clambake because that's Operation Clambake, which has been looking to uncover Scientology for a while. The one that got me when I looked at this list was the word poodle. And I'm wondering if you have any idea why they don't want you to see the word poodle. Poodles are evil. I mean, we uh, all know that poodles are evil. I heard like, that. Fluff contains thetans. No. That, that Xenu's face actually looked like a poodle's asshole, so. <laughs> Next question. Yeah, I have a quick question. No poodles, Have you please. actually uh, physically uh, fucked around with the cans that they have when they do the uh, stress tests? The e-meter. He's talking about the uh, e-meter they use for the right. stress tests. Yeah, because if you can, if you, it basically is like a basic lie detector, so if you know how to regulate your pulse, you can really prove how these things do not work, which I've right. done to some grads. The, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the F, they actually ha are legally obligated to put an FDA warning on those, uh, on those right. e-meters that they, they do nothing. Right. And, and Somebody I, had sex with and I just a pair wanted of to I just Sorry, wanted yeah. to say that as soon as that awesome and hilarious Fox video came out, I was one of the first people to break it, mainly on PLA. We've supported you ever since. We've blocked their phones and come to your stuff. And uh, I just want to say that if you have any targets in the future, just please leave the, uh, the, uh, the Jehovah's Witnesses and the Latter-day Saints alone because we're having as enough fun, of, fun with them as it is. So thank you. <laughs> awesome. awesome. I don't know if you want to put it in. Next. Okay, next question. Um, what's with all the V for Vendetta masks? How, how did those come to pass? I Damn, mean, they're a good anonymous. Damn, right, sister, it. somebody. I don't want to do this one. You have to do this all one. Right. We don't know. Okay, um, before any of this fucking started, it was kind of a, it was, it was a joke on some of the messages. It, was, it comes from some older internet shit. It, it's kind of a long fucking story. <laughs> like really, I think what it got adopted into was that whole idea of of the anonymity. You know, people standing up for something you know right and all of that bullshit. But really, actually, it was just another internet thing. <laughs> it's a little bit about both. Yeah, it's it's everybody's it's favorite also. So, can you tell me why what you're doing is any different than an attack an, an attack against Christianity or Islam or Judaism without using the cop out? that it is, it is a cult uh, because all major organized monotheistic religions have long histories of doing terrible things in the name of their gods. How is what you are doing any different than an attack on, say, Muslims or Jews? Or because Muslims? these attacks are happening now. Scientology is undergoing these criminal acts right now. If I had a time machine to go back a thousand years and I didn't have better things to do with it, yeah, maybe I'd do shit about the Crusades, but you know what? Right now, we're the thing that's standing. Because here's the thing, and, and this is this is something Scientology is bringing up all the time. No, shut the fuck up! Don't talk. Don't talk to me all the time. I'm sorry. But here's the thing: they bring this up. But you know what? In the Crusades, they had fucking Turks with swords to stand up against that shit. You know what? We're the fucking Turks. That's it. We're the ones stopping this fucking expansion of this crazy cult. Right answer. Thank you. Oh, sweet. <laughs> no soap for you. Next. Um, when you were talking about a uh, Sea Org, the Navy, right. um, oh, I'd heard from um, someone who I guess had bullshitted some Scientologists and got some info about Sea Org from them. He said that um, when if you do sign up for Sea Org, then it, you your contract is for all your it's a billion years. Actually, it's, it's not, right, it's not yeah. for your entire life. It's for, for I believe, it's billion one years. billion years. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> would it be your life and all your next lives? So would it be possible to? Go up to them and say, "I." I signed it in the '70s and got. Yeah, killed. exactly. No, right. <laughs> Which, and, and, and it never works. They always they'll have to do it through auditing and shit. Besides, like, why would you want to? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Infiltration. I don't know. I'm just saying. Would it be possible? Well, 
Yeah, more or less. I mean, they would have to like confirm it with auditing and all sorts of bullshit. But if you just walk, especially now after like with them all up in arms about us, they would know that you're just fucking with them. Okay. <laughs> also, just, that, that would mean that would mean they keep their word and obligations. Right. Mm. Excellent point. <laughs> yeah, they have lawyers got that shit. Next. Um, it works. Did you guys hear about the circus fires? No. Tell us. Um, they were intense. I like him. <laughs> Did you hear about the yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Because it wasn't from you. <laughs> so, my question is, I'm kind of curious if anyone has a copy of OT3 with them today, because I'd kind oh, of like to God. see how many Scientologists are in the audience It's in my other themes. Yeah, the, I think uh, yeah, after yeah, after the issue that with that is perfect. that uh, anybody that they would send here today wouldn't be affected by that because they know that we talk about it. Okay. Uh, what they have is something real quick. I'm going to say they're told to look up any words that they don't understand. They're going to be told that Xenu was something from Hubbard's crappy, crappy science fiction that he wrote before this science fiction, which made him much more money. And uh, the issue is that they're told that it was just something from that. Uh, a fun one, if you wanted to fuck with them, is ask them to clear the word body thetans because that's something that's uh, included in the OT3 material, and that's something that they don't have an answer for. So uh, you know, body thetans, body thetans, body thetans. Now you have an MU. Go, go look it up. <laughs> all right. Two people, two. Yeah, people. honestly, if you do want to read the OT3, yeah, um, yeah it's all the over the place. Dialogue, it's it's online. You just Google it. Good I think I actually even have it in my backpack. Somewhere. Go ahead, bud. Including here recording of Elron Hubbard. Uh, okay, David, yeah. sister, yeah. shut the fuck up. Sorry. <laughs> First of all, thanks very much for all your hard work. Uh, it's it's great. To hear, um, I just want to see if you're if you've considered the possibility that you're in some ways shilling for the psychiatric establishment and the pharmaceutical industry, and <laughs> wondering Lesser if you'd be interested in evils. refocusing. No, after all your shit, efforts I and attention, love those guys. So that <laughs> no, 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 no. Those guys are the real criminals. And <laughs> no, they're I'm not, not a Scientologist, but okay. they are in the midst of pathologizing the full range of human experience, and they're targeting old people with dementia Lesser and kids with behavioral two disorders. Evils. Oh, I don't know about that. They have a, a much greater reach. Uh, they have far more lobbying power, and uh, they're killing people right now. Well, all right, true, true. But you know, some to be fair, Scientology did piss us off. I think Scientology's a little bit worse. Uh, I don't think so. But um, I'd be really interested in applying some of your techniques and energy to solving some of those really large problems in okay. the pharmaceutical well, and psychiatric. In a lot of ways, we're also not really an activist group who's just going to run around writing oh. it wrong. But we, I mean, mean, but I'm just saying, like, you know, anything's possible. We could always direct it towards other things we don't like. Well, consider the reason why you're reinforcing the their message That's for them and doing the pharmaceutical industry's work for them by attacking some of Scientology's message, which does have seeds of truth. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, we're we we're over, so maybe we can get one last question and then. Uh, uh, make okay. it good one. Okay, that was a quick one. I gave you a USB key just a few minutes ago. Yeah, I it, passed it over. I it contains know. one picture. If you show this to the people, you'll see the traffic statistics of Xenu.net, and you will see what impact you have actually had. Uh, yeah, I, re I recall seeing it at February 10th, which was the anniversary of Lisa McPherson's death. Uh, that's a woman that very prominently they just sort of watched die. I can't tell the whole story now, but uh, they pretty much murdered a woman and covered it up. And uh, after February 10th, you can search the traffic statistics. There's an enormous spike for searching Lisa McPherson. I think that uh, Scientology is a virus, and we're inoculating people. Information will inoculate you against a scam, and that's last, what we're doing. Last question, quick. Uh, oh, it's not a question, just a comment. Um, there's actually an article about Anonymous in uh, Maxim. Maxim, yeah. Yeah, Pick I just want to let you know, magazine. but yeah. It's like Ladies. a pretty decent size article too. So Thanks. yep, that's one of our wins. That's <laughs> yeah, expect more in the more more in the future. Excuse me. All right, they're, they're All right. I think we, have, I think we ran over. Yeah, you're off the stage now, right? Yeah, you off the Peace. stage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Peace, bitches. Thank you, guys.